Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Today I'm here with the Air Force Texan 50 caliber. This thing is absolutely a beast. You've seen me do other videos before with the Air Force Texan platform. So basically it's the exact same platform as all the other Air Force Texans. Now this is my first time with the LSS. I absolutely love this thing and actually for more reasons than one. First off, this thing is absolutely super accurate. We've proven the LSS platform is the most accurate big bore air gun on the market. We can say that definitively because my good friend Dan Lowe uh, actually won EBR with the 45 version of this gun. So it was absolutely killing it, ringing steel out beyond 300 yards. So the LSS platform has proven itself competitively. It has proven itself in the hunting field. So I have found this thing not only suppresses the uh, 50 cal air belching monster, quite well there's actually a, a hidden little feature inside that air force really hasn't talked too much about that i actually want to go over with you real quick so inside this shroud uh the basically the way the shroud works is it's um mounted onto the actual frame of the gun so basically you're getting one solid platform here and how it's doing that is inside of this can right here there is a uh there's a there's a small section right here in the in the end of monocore so that's actually helping with the suppression but the threading device to keep this cap on and keep everything together so that's creating a bit of a tensioning uh system here and if you got to think about it, so when you think about it, the air force texan every one of them has a 34 inch barrel on it so that's a lot of barrel out there to be uh, contending with with harmonics so you have so much dwell time with that slug uh in the shot cycle from the time the hammer hits the uh, top hat to the time the uh, slug is leaving the barrel, you really do need to sit with it and practice really good follow through. And so inside the end cap here, we've got actually two uh, baffle cups. And so that's creating the suppression here with so these two baffle cups that are inside here and the little bit of monocore here and the, the actual tensioning system is creating one solid platform. And I, I truly believe it's adding to the accuracy of the gun. So I'm not gonna be doing a full accuracy test with this thing. If you wanna check out uh, Mr. Hollow Point, he actually ran through every one of his uh, slugs and he's got some of the biggest selection right now for the 50 caliber Texan for uh, slugs. So if you wanna go to his channel, um, definitely check it out. He goes through all the stuff from all the lighter weight stuff and the, like, the low 300s all the way up to 622 grains. But uh, this is the most powerful production air gun on the market. So to get those bragging right numbers, let's get it out of the way. So we earlier, we lined this bad boy up with some 620 grain Mr. Hollow Point Spitzers. And man, I'll tell you what, it, just watch. It, it's, it's massive. Check it out. All right, so there it is, over 800 foot-pounds of energy. So I'll be completely honest. I won't be slinging a 620 grain uh, lead unless I'd say I go elk hunting or moose or bear, mastodon, T-Rex. I'm, I'm probably not going to choose that big of an ammo selection because that, you know, mid 700s. So for me, I'm gonna go down into that 350 grain range and Mr. Hollow Point has one of the most wicked looking 350 grain hollow points I have ever seen. I mean, check this thing out. You can literally put a 25 caliber pellet inside of that hollow point cavity. I mean, that is absolutely a massive. I mean, that thing is just gonna open up like a flower. So let's actually, let's do some expansion and some penetration tests. And if you've been following me on Facebook and social media, I've been talking a lot about uh, the difference between penetration and expansion with big bore air guns. And quite honestly, sometimes when you pick a, a hollow point slug that's going to m open massively, you are basically turning it into a meat parachute. You know, once it hits that game animal, depending on where you hit it, you're going to basically dump all of that energy right away into that game animal. And what I have found with deer is when possible, you want to get a full pass through. All right, so enough talking. 
Let's check it out. Let's smack some meat. Let's see what this can do. All right, here we go. We've got a pretty thick uh, pork shoulder here. That's about uh, six inches wide. And we also have a pretty big bone here in the middle. I'm gonna see if I can actually try to avoid hitting that on the first shot, just to see what kind of expansion we're gonna get. So yeah, for this first test, we are gonna go ahead and uh, hit this with uh, 350 grain, 50 cal, Mr. Hollow Point hollow points just to see what kind of massive uh, devastation we can get here. So I'm expecting absolutely a full pass through for sure. Here, here we go. All right, here we go. 350 grain, Mr. Hollow Point, massive Hollow Point slug. See what we can do. Here we go. There we go, center mass. There's the 50 cal <laughs> entry wound. I mean, look at that. That is just nuts. That is just absolutely insane. That exit wound is just massive. Straight through, Let's see if I hit any bone. No. No bone, that was straight through. Just, I mean, wicked. All right, so that's obviously got full penetration here. Let's uh, line up a couple melons behind here. See if we can actually uh, stop the uh, hollow point and see what kind of expansion we're getting on that 350 grain hollow point. Let's check it out. <laughs> so check it out absolutely ridiculous all right so for this demonstration we're going to mimic the uh, width and somewhat of the actual anatomy of a average white-tailed deer so yeah we've got two slabs of pork ribs here with the bones so in order to kind of mimic of what's happening with a double lung shot um, obviously this isn't exact but i've set up a couple cantaloupes here and i think they have enough uh, water content and actually a, a void inside the melon to mimic what you would be hitting when you hit a double lung shot. So, so I've added some uh, watermelon here to add a little bit more water content. Obviously when you're smacking a full watermelon, you're just basically smacking that slug right into a, a bucket of water where it's gonna stop pretty much immediately. But I'm hoping this is gonna mimic somewhat of what a double lung shot would look like fully broadside with a deer at 30 yards. Hopefully we'll get full penetration. I'm pretty sure we will. And uh, let's see what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, absolute carnage. So there is the entry wound there. And look at the back side of that. And that's just through one rib and you're already seeing massive expansion coming out of that first inch, inch and a half. Obviously the uh, cantaloupe did not survive. Let's see here. No exit wound. So I'm really glad I was able to capture this on video because this is a really important example of what happens in real world terminal ballistics. A lot of times when we see uh, shooters shooting into FBI ballistics gel, it's a really good benchmark to show uh, penetration and expansion in a very controlled environment. But when you're hunting, it's not a controlled environment. You've got fur, you've got hide, you've got bones, you've got thick shoulder muscle versus a rib cage. And so in this example, the slug actually hits the rib and takes a 45 degree turn and comes right back at my iPhone. So this was almost a very expensive uh, educational opportunity for you all to witness, but I'm really glad I was able to capture this on video.
this set up again uh, with another cantaloupe in the uh, in between the two ribs and yeah let's see what this can do let's see if we can get a full pass through here we go Now that's what I'm talking about. Full pass through, absolute massive amount of energy being dumped into the body cavity of the deer, enough to actually exit out the backside and carrying quite a bit of, uh, we'll call it internal uh, organ material out the backside. So I will call that a success. All right, so we've got the target backed up to uh, 50 yards and we're gonna be shooting these Lehigh 220 grain slugs. These are copper, the uh, maximum expansion line they have. And what I'm gonna be doing is actually running them into these, uh, these are called MMP Sable Cups. And what this is gonna do is this is going to take a 452 slug and upsize it to a 0 .510 diameter to be shot through the Texan. We've historically always heard that um, Sabled, uh, Hear that? It's freedom, America. <laughs> Big bore air guns have not um, shot saboed ammunition very well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but for whatever reason, this combination of this sable cup and these slugs tend. I'm, I'm holding groups like this at 50 yards, so um, I wanted to do this on camera so you guys can uh, see. So yeah, let's. Uh, Load a couple of these up and let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Copper on steel, baby. God, that is massive. All right. Still at 3,200 PSI. Shot number two. Woo. Holding a pretty good group. See what shot number three will do. Here we go. Shot number three. Nice, like that. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is what I'm talking about. 50 yard accuracy. Man, I tell you what, I will call that good to go. All right, there we go. So now that we've been able to see that these Sabod Lehigh Maximum Expansion 452 slugs can be accurate in the 50 cal texan let's line this up and do some uh meat expansion <laughs> terminal ballistics testing all right here we go let's check it out so we definitely know the accuracy is there with those uh sabos so definitely went through there i mean Look at that, insane wound cavity. Went all the way through that watermelon. Did not exit this one. So let's dig through this a little bit. Yep, here we go. Actually lodged right there on the back side of watermelon number two. And look at that expansion. That right there is an inch and three quarters of expansion going through 
what is that? Probably five, six inches of a pork shoulder, an entire watermelon. So tons of water content, obviously, in a watermelon, which is going to stop pretty much any slug. And going through this one and hitting the back side. <laughs> and holding good accuracy at 50 yards. Man, that is just wicked. All right, there it is, everybody. The Air Force Texan 50 Cal. I'll tell you what, if you are interested in this gun, definitely check it out from Utah Air Guns. Those guys love to hunt. They are pest hunters. They are meat hunters, air gun hunters, just like me. So yeah, Justin Jacobson and his crew over there at Utah Air Guns, man, they know what they're talking about when it comes to hunting rigs. Definitely hit them up for the Air Force Texan 50 Cal. If you're getting ready for the 2020 deer season, so yeah, okay, so we actually did destroy some uh, perfectly good food today, all in the name of science, all in the name of uh, terminal ballistics testing. But I'll tell you what, we are gonna put these ribs, after, right after I shot those ribs, I actually put them right back into a, uh, a ice chest. And we're taking them back to the house. We are going to cook these bad boys up with my new absolute favorite barbecue sauce on the planet. Check out the link below. This stuff will knock your socks off. So yeah, if you are in the uh, air gunning uh, competition circles, so you've probably met up with Dakota at some point and have been introduced to this absolutely amazing barbecue sauce. I'll tell you what, this sauce is absolutely awesome. Definitely check it out. If you enjoy my videos, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below. Thanks everybody for joining me. Take care.